Right, what I'm going to do now is show you how to transfer these figures onto a, an Excel spreadsheet where you've got a lot more uh, flexibility on what you can do with the figures uh, because at the moment these uh, columns are not clickable so you can't reorder them or anything. So make sure you've set the time scale. That's how I've set this for a period and click apply and then all you do is click export to dot csv that's comma separated values doesn't matter what it means um, but then that will download it as an excel spreadsheet you can see it's downloaded here and all you need to do is just click on that and that should open up and there it is on an excel spreadsheet uh, you can see it's all mixed up all the different columns so what you can do if you've not used Excel before uh, just go and put your cursor in between the columns until you see a little line like that and then just hold your mouse left click down and then you can drag it so that you can see all the details and that is contact number so all the phone numbers there it's got the email address and then this is one of the new columns the since date and that is the order that uh, the date that that person actually joined the business so you've got the address and everything else and I'll say the last column is catalog price so if you just want to see the figures for each person then all you do is go put your mouse on the line in between those two columns and then if you drag it to the left and just to the where the names are then it's quick and easy to see the figures against the name so that is a start I'm gonna show you other things you can do with it in a moment Right, as you can see there, there's people who haven't put orders in. Well, you can't see, but uh, there's people who haven't put orders in, people who have put orders in. And what I'm going to do now is if you click on that header of that column, so that's catalogue prices highlighted, then look for that, which is the A to Z. And this is a, a filter that you can use. If you just click on that, then you can do A to Z or Z to A. Um, I usually go for Z to A and what you'll see is that column will change and put the highest figure at the top. So you can see that's in order of the figures gone through. So they're the highest retailer and then that's all the way down to the lowest retailer. So that is one way if you're doing a, a newsletter and you want to put everybody's figures down, it's so easy just to highlight all of the figures like that. And then if you right click and click copy, then you can easily transfer that to your spreadsheet. So that's one thing you can do. So I'm going to pause it there and then I'll show you something else. Right, here's another thing that you can do with the new spreadsheet. Something that's useful um, if you're trying to find out who joined in a particular period. So what you do then is have it all open like that. Click in the since date. That is uh, the date that they joined. Click in that header there so it's highlighted there. Then you can do a a to Z. I'm going to try. I'm not sure which order this will go. So I'm doing A to Z here. See what happens. And that is going from the first person, uh, the date that the first person joined. So what I'm doing now is clicking Z to A. And that is highlighted and put in order of who joined recently. So if you know the dates of the period, let's say that is highlighted down to the 8th. So all of those people there joined in period 10. And then if you know the dates of 
the previous period you can see that all of those people there joined in the previous period which is period 9 so you've got a list of people that you can use if it's for a newsletter or trying to find out when people join the business right I'm gonna pause it now and then I might show you one more thing right I'll just show you one more thing on this I'm just keeping this relatively simple there are a lot more things you can do with it but that's a bit more advanced um, so on this one now it's got sponsor common uh, a lot of words there sponsor common and ID and so if you want to find who's in whose team then all you do is click on that header there and then click A to Z or Z to A whichever way you want to do it so that is now put in order of distributor number so you can see that all of these have been sponsored by one person so I say if you look at the distributor number there that's how just highlight those uh, the next section there those have all been sponsored by somebody and if you look at that number that's in that column then go over to the common uh, column the first column look for that person you can see who has sponsored those people there so it's a good way of looking who your top sponsors are and uh, I'll say I hope that helps and I'll say I might do another video with more things that you can do. Okay, bye now.